God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And as we move on to verse 12, verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And we'll just pause there. Principalities are out of body beings that reigns in the heavenly realms. They reign, they reign in the first and second heavens. And up there is where the war begins. And today I was listening to the radio. And as we as I was listening to the radio, I hear the woman of God as she was preaching. She said, in World War II, she said that. The, 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 the fight against Britain, oh God, in, in World War II, Britain won the, the war in the air. And as she spoke that word, I said, mighty God, the battle is not on earth. It's always in the air. And that is why the Lord said, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. High places represent in the heavenly realms because we always have to go through the battle with whatever spiritual being is fighting us here in earth so when you see the co-worker coming up against you trying to get you to lose your job it's not the co-worker it's a principality because the lord said we do not wrestle with flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers so you've got to understand that you can't see the person you've got to see the spirit behind the person so next time you go out and someone come to you and they start to say all manner of evil against you they start to speak ill of you you've got to understand that you are not wrestling with flesh and blood but against a principality so that principality has possessed the body of that person that is speaking unto you so apostle paul wants us to understand that the problems and the warfare that we what that we face here in earth when individuals come up against us it's not them it's the spirit in them so we've got to understand the fight is not not with flesh and blood it's not with the mere man that you can see it's with the spirit behind the man so you got to understand that when you address in principalities you got to address the spirit in the man and you got to cast them out and the lord said you can bind them so whatever you bind on earth the lord said you bind in heaven so you've got to understand in these last days that you've got to learn how to put on the full armor of god so that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil because the walls are coming warfare is coming left right and center but you've got to stand the word of the lord said in first corinthians that you are to be steadfast and unmovable so we are in a time now where you've got to be steadfast and unmovable you can't be swayed to the left neither look to the left nor to the right you got to focus on jesus the word of god says you got to look unto jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith so you've got to stay focused in 2024 it's no time now to look to the left nor look to the right you've got to stay focused you've got to put on the full armor of god so that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil you've got to be steadfast and unmovable meaning you've got to have a mind made up you've got to stand and say i'm standing for christ and the lord said that after you've done all all you can do just stand and somebody got to understand him. I hear the Lord say, be still and know that he is God. So whatever warfare you are going through right now, your word for tonight is to be still and know that God is God. God is God over that situation. God is God over every principalities and over every powers because the Lord said that you are now seated in heavenly places through Christ Jesus. And now you reign and rule where you are now a supernatural being you reign and rule in the heavenly and in the earth realm so you've got to understand that God has given you the power to tread upon the serpent and upon the scorpion and over the powers of the enemy and nothing by any means shall hurt you so all you've got to do is apply the word and understand that you've got to put on the full armor of God in these last days to stand against the walls of the devil and he said we do not wrestle with principalities and then we move on now the, the, the man of God said you wrestle against powers you wrestle against the rulers of darkness rulers of darkness are the people that are in our government system you see all the things that are changing now our 
laws are changing. Every single day there's a new law. Every single day you look on the TV and you can't believe the laws that they're passing now. The things that are an abomination to the Lord, those are the things that are now being professed as good. The Lord said in the last days, evil will seem like good and good will seem like evil. We are in a time now where everything is backwards. When you are a righteous man, nobody want to have nothing to do with you now. But when you are in the world, everybody want to come and say, come on, let's go. But the Lord is saying in this season, put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the walls of the enemy. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, I hear the word of the Lord said, oh, the Lord, he will raise up a standard. The spirit of the Lord God will raise up a standard against him. So you got to understand that when you got on the full armor of God, then you will be able to stand against the walls of the enemy. But we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. Lord, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness. And the man of God said, we wrestle with spiritual wickedness in high places. Someone got to understand that these spirits, they're not on the lower part. They're in high places. Sometimes you go into some places and you say, let me talk to the manager. When the manager comes out, you know that something is off about that manager. Because when the spirit comes, you understand that this is not a normal human being. That's a manager, but a principality is sitting in that place. So that is why the Lord said, you're not wrestling with flesh and blood, but against principalities. When that manager comes out, he will make your life a living hell. So you got to understand that you're not working now with a, with a normal human. You're now dealing with a principality that's in high places in the body of a manager. So you got to understand now that you got to get into your prayer closet. You now got to seek the Lord because if you're not seeking God in these last days through prayer and fasting people of God the enemy will beat you because you see you gotta get into the realm of the spirit through prayer and fasting because fasting will break down who you are in the flesh fasting put the flesh under subjection so you gotta understand in order to wear the full armor of God you've got to have your prayer life up you gotta have your word life up you've gotta have your fasting life up and you gotta understand that as a believer the Lord said there are some spirit that will only go out through prayer and fasting so when you're dealing with a principality when you're dealing with a power that can only go out through prayer and fasting because you gotta understand that the word of the Lord said now when you put prayer and you put fasting together you shall decree a thing you shall declare a thing and it shall be established so someone gotta understand that when you follow the rules and the laws of God then every demon and the principalities and every power will have to bow to the name of king jesus because you have now done what the lord has instructed you to do and that is why he says some can only come out through prayer and fasting so people of god as we are in a time now part of your full armor you've got to be in prayer you've got to be in fasting you see the word of the lord said in luke 18 verse 1 that men ought always to pray and to pray without ceasing. so you've got to understand in these last days, you've got to pray without season. You got to pray in the morning, praying at noon day, praying in the evening, because you see, and the, the word of the Lord said in Psalms 91 that the arrows they fly at noon day when principalities and powers are shooting their arrow, they shoot it at noon day. So you got to understand that you've got to be on the prayer watch. Come on, somebody. And as the man of God named the program, the prayer cell, you need to get onto the prayer cell. You need to start praying more because the word of the Lord says we are to pray without ceasing. You've got to learn to love prayer because you see prayer is something that many people, they want to neglect prayer. But in these last days, the only way out, you got to pray your way out. you got to pray your way out because if you're not praying your way out, then the enemy's going to win you. And the word of the Lord said that you are the head and not the tail. And in order to be the head, you've got to pray your way out because life is spiritual. Life is spiritual and we are wrestling with out of body beings so in order to win the war against them you win the war through prayer so somebody got to understand that when you speak and when you decree and you declare a thing it shall be established because we do not wrestle with flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places glory be to god
And verse 13, the, 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 the word of the Lord said in Ephesians 6, verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. So you've got to understand that you have to take on the whole armor of God. When warfare comes, many times the Lord will say to you, You've got to go in prayer. Because you see, many times the pastor can pray for you, but the Lord wants you to pray too. You know, your leaders can pray for you, but there are some times when the Lord said, you need to put on the full armor. You need to pray about this. You need to seek the Lord and get the instruction of what you need to do. Because you see, there are certain levels of warfare that the Lord said it's the individual that has to deal with it. And I will tell you from experience, the Lord had sent me into eight days of prayer and fasting. And during that time, it's where the Lord had delivered me from what I was going through. I went to church. I got my prayer. But the Lord said, now you need to go now and you need to seek me for yourself. So we are in a time now where warfare has intensified and you've got to seek the Lord for yourself. you got to seek the Lord in prayer. you got to seek the Lord in fasting. Somebody got to understand that word of the Lord said, you, you got to put on the full armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil days. People of God, there are some evil and dark days ahead. And for those of you who are prophetic, then you would have seen many of the things that are to come. Because you see, the Lord has shown me a lot of things that I've not yet been given the unction to release. But I'm telling you people that there are some very evil and some dark days ahead of us. So right now, you got to understand. you got to learn to put on the full armor of God. you got to armor yourself in Psalms 91. For those of you who are not familiar with Psalms 91, you need to sit in the that word you need to memorize psalms 91 because you're gonna need that psalms for the evil days they are coming and they are ahead of us so the lord wanna let you know tonight you need to put on the full armor so that you may be able to stand in the evil days glory be to god because the evil days they are coming because we are in the last days where trials and tribulation they are coming because the word of the lord must come to pass the word of the Lord must come to pass. He said, all these have to come to pass and then he shall come. So somebody got to understand. You got to get yourself prepared. You got to get yourself ready for the evil days that are ahead because you got to understand that these are the days where the true remnant will stand because you see everyone's going around and they're saying that I'm a remnant. I'm a remnant. But you got to understand that the evil days that are ahead is only the true remnants that will stand because the Lord said there's a great falling away that is coming and people of God the evil days is where the great falling away is coming where many is going to depart from the faith but if you are hearing this word tonight the Lord wants to let you know do not depart from the faith all you got to do is put on the full armor so that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil and against the evil days that are ahead so all you've got to do is trust in the Lord God with all of your heart Leave not on your own understanding in all of your ways acknowledge God and he will direct your path you gotta trust God in these last days you got to trust God you got to put on the full armor of God and trust in him in these last days so that you may be able to stand against the walls of the enemy and against the evil days that are to come glory be to God and the word of the Lord said, after you've done all to stand, the word of the Lord said, and having done all to stand, people of God, when you are in a battle, the Lord is saying to you that after you've prayed, after you've fast, after you've seek him, what you should do now, you just stand, meaning just remain still. As he said in his word, be still. Once you have prayed, once you have fasted, and once you have given the work, given the work to the Lord, to do all you got to do is just relax just don't worry about nothing because the lord is saying do not worry about nothing all you gotta do now is just stand meaning that you are not resting in god he said to take my yoke upon you come on somebody you gotta understand that his yoke is easy and his burden is light so when you lay down your burden before god when you're warring and you're in your warfare when you're in the midnight hours and all you can do is cry out all you can do sometimes is just all you can do is say, Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, because there are some times that we go through some situation, we go through some evil days where all you can do is say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The word of the Lord said that even in your moaning and even in your groaning, the Holy Spirit will make an intercession for you. So when you get to the evil days, if you can't pray, all you got to do is just cry out to the Lord. You see, at the midnight cry, come on, somebody got to understand that the Lord will hear you if all you can do is say, Lord, help me. When midnight come, you got to stay faithful in that warfare. You got to stay faithful to God. So when midnight come and you're there saying, Jesus, 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 don't give up. He's saying, just stand, just stand. Don't give up because vengeance is his. And you see, when the Lord takes his vengeance, somebody got to understand that when the Lord sent judgment, his judgment is not a normal judgment. Whenever God sent judgment to our enemy, it's a judgment that they understand and know. Don't come and mess with you over here because God is going to show them a sign. God is going to show up for you. So when they come with the warfare, when they're raging the warfare against you, you got to understand that you're resting now with a principality. So the Lord will say, just stand. All you got to do after you've done all, after you've prayed, after you seek his face, just stand. So somebody got to understand. All you got to do is just stand. Glory be to God. And verse 14, Ephesians 6, verse 14, it said, stand therefore, having your lines girt with truth. Come on, somebody. Jesus said he is the truth and the life. Somebody got to understand that you got to gird your lines with truth. The word of the Lord is truth. If you want truth, you got to read the word of the Lord. So when you read the word of the Lord, then you gird up your lines with truth, knowing that what God says is what he says. And he said, my word will not return unto me void. So you got to understand that if you want truth, you need to pick up your Bible. So the word of the Lord says, you must gird your loins with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Somebody got to understand that righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach unto any man. So you got to understand. The Lord is saying, put on the breastplate of righteousness. When you're a righteous man, that means you live right, you walk right, you talk right, you act right. The Lord said, when you open Open up your mouth. Don't let any evil word come out of your mouth. So you got to understand that when you're moving in righteousness, the things of God is what you desire. You desire to seek the things of God. You desire to have more of God. So if you find yourself in Christ and what you are seeking after is the righteousness of God, then my brothers and my sister, you're on the right track because when you're in Christ and you are righteous, the word of the Lord said a fervent prayer of the righteous man avail it much so when you pray the lord hears you when you fast the lord hears you when you go to seek him the lord hear you when you go to read the word the lord will hear you so you got to understand in these last days you got to put on the breastplate of righteousness and the verse 15 and it says, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of truth. You gotta have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Come on, somebody, as a child of God, you should be going forth with a spirit that is peaceful. You see, many times you find some Christians, and when sometimes you look at them, you're thinking, my God, do you really call yourself a Christian? And we're in the time now where we see that the sifting out is taking place because enemies sifting them out and they're being exposed year by year, day by day, month after month because the Lord said this is a year of exposure. At the beginning of the year, the Lord said, the Lord said, my daughter, this is a year of exposure. This is a year where I'm going to expose them all for all those who have come into the house of God, messing up my program, messing up the way that I do things because our God in 1 Corinthians 14, the word of the Lord tells us that our God is a God of order. So where you go and you see no order, then you got to question, Lord, are you here? So you got to understand in these last days, there's an exposure coming. And for the ones who are polluting the gospel, the Lord is saying that he's about to expose them. People of God, be ready because you got to put on the gospel of peace because you see when you got peace, then you got everything because the Lord said he will give you a peace that will surpass all human understanding in Philippians 4. 
poor. He said, I will give you a peace that surpasses all human understanding that will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. So you got to understand that you got to have peace. If you got no peace, then you got to seek the Lord because the Lord is saying, my peace I give to you, not like the world give. He gives his peace to you because he is the Prince of Peace. So someone got to understand in these last days that you got to put on the gospel of peace. You got to guard your mind, ensure that anything that is disturbing your peace, you got to depart from it. You got to let it go. You got to understand that right now you're in a space where you need to protect your peace because if your peace is disturbed, you cannot focus. Whenever you cannot focus, then you know that your peace is disturbed. And if the enemy can take your peace, then he can take your joy. And once he take your joy, then you're going to get into a place where you're not focused anymore. And when you're not focused on God, you become distracted. Sometimes you see many people, they find themselves in places that they don't even know how they get there. They will look back and say, how did I get there? Because their peace was disturbed. Then their peace was disturbed and they lost their joy. So somebody got to understand in these last days, you got to protect your peace. You got to understand that you've got to live a peaceful and a righteous life in these last days. You got to know that you got to decree and declare a thing. And when you want to decree and declare a thing and see it established, then your mind got to be right. And if you got no peace, then your mind cannot be right. So you got to understand it in order to keep your mind right. You got to have peace and you got to understand that the gospel represents peace because the gospel means good news. The word gospel means good news. So when you hear the good news, you're getting the gospel. So you got to understand that you need peace in order to receive the gospel. Glory be to God. In order to receive the gospel, you need to have peace because if you don't have no peace, then when somebody comes and tells you about Jesus, you won't want to hear nothing. You're going to look at Mel and you're going to say, I don't understand what she's saying. She's just crazy, but I'm crazy for Jesus. So somebody got to understand in these last days when you go forth and you're spreading the gospel and they come and they get angry at you. It's not them. It's the spirit in them because the word is telling us that we do wrestle with the flesh and we don't wrestle with the flesh and blood, but against the principality. So when you go forth to spread the gospel of peace and the enemy comes up in the body of a person, you got to stay focused. You got to continue to preach the word. You got to understand that you got to, amen. You got to identify the spirit and then you address the spirit and you continue in the gospel of peace. So somebody got to understand in these last days, you got to have the gospel of peace. Glory be to God. And verse 16, Ephesians 6, verse 16, he said, above all, taking the shield of faith. And you see before I hear Pastor Tyron ask somebody to pray about faith. You got to take on, oh, glory be to God. Above all, taking the shield of faith. The word of the Lord said, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And you find that in Hebrews 11, Hebrews 11 tells us that faith is a substance of things Things hope for meaning you're going through the warfare, you're going through the battle, you're going through the trial, you're going through the tribulation. You don't know yet how you're gonna come out of it, so you gotta have it as a substance of something that you're hoping for. So you're hoping that God, I'm hoping that you get me out of this. So your faith now needs to increase when you're going through the battle, when you're going through the warfare. Your faith needs to increase because the word of the Lord said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you got to understand without faith, it's impossible to please God when you're going through your trials and when you're going through your tribulation, you've got to have faith. You got to understand that every man, every boy, every child, you've got to exercise faith in the kingdom of God because by faith, man believe unto righteousness. So you got to understand that faith is important to the word of the Lord said to take on the shield of 
faith wherewith he shall be able to quench the fiery dart of the wicked. In order to quench the fiery darts, you need faith. You need faith to keep praying. You need faith to keep seeking God so that you can quench the fiery dart. Because without faith, you're going to give up. Without faith, you're going to let go and you're going to lose the battle. But God is saying, listen, if you want to quench the fiery darts of the enemy, if you want to see the problem go away, you got to remain faithful to God. You got to remain in faith. You can't give up now. You've come too far now. Somebody on here, you got to understand that you can't lose your faith now. You can't give up now. You've come too far by faith. I can hear the song in my spirit where the songwriter said, I've come too far by faith, leaning on the Lord's sight. Somebody on here need to understand you've come too far by faith, leaning on the Lord's side. So you can't give up now. You can't give up now. You got to continue in faith so you can quench the fiery dart of the enemy. Whatever dart is firing at you, whether it be sickness, whether it be depression, whether it be discouragement, whether it be procrastination, whatever the dart is, you can't give up now. Maybe it's financial problems. You can't give up now. You can't lose your faith now because the same God yesterday is the same God today and forevermore. So you got to understand, you got to keep your faith. You got to hold on to your faith, which is a substance of the things that you hope for, the evidence of things not seen. You don't know how God is going to do it, but all you're believing in for is God. I know that you can do it because we know him to be Jehovah Rapha. We know him to be healer. We know him to be Jehovah Nisi. We know him to be our banner. We know him to be Jehovah Shammah, which is God with us. We know him to be Jehovah Shalom, which is our peace. So you got to understand in Christ, we live and we move and have our very being. So we got to believe in him. We got to trust in him and we've got to stay focused and remain rooted and grounded in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So you've got to have faith in order to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Glory be to God. And verse 17 said, and take on the helmet of salvation, mighty God, the helmet of salvation. You got to understand if you, if you just imagine a Roman soldier, when you look at the Roman soldier, you see that heavy arm, you see that metal helmet on his head, because you see this, this description, you can use a Roman soldier to understand what the Lord is trying to say to us. So you got to put on a helmet of salvation. Salvation. You got to understand that you are saved through Christ Jesus. You are saved through him. So you got to put on a helmet of salvation. And then the word of the Lord said, and the sword of the spirit, the sword of the spirit is the word of God. You got to understand in these last days and in these evil days, in these trying days, you got to put on a sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You need to spend time in your word. You need to to understand that if you don't have no word, then the enemy is going to come and he's going to come and he's going to beat you. And you see today I was at work and there was an object and it was just rolling. It's a trolley. And I saw the trolley rolling from one side of the workplace to another side. And the wind was just blowing the trolley. And I said, Lord, what is this? Because the trolley was just going. The wind was just taking it. And the Lord said, my daughter, we are in a time now if my children don't know the word, they're going to be taken by every wind of doctrine. And you got to understand in these last days, you can't afford to be taken by every wind of doctrine. Because if you don't know your word, the false prophet will come and trick you. If you don't know the word, the false minister will come and trick you. Because we're in a time of warfare and the battle is for your mind. You got to understand the battle is for your mind. That is why you need to put on the helmet of salvation.
position you got to guard your mind and you guard your mind with the word of god so when you're going through your trials and when you're going through your tribulation you remind yourself of the word and say seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and you speak that word unto yourself you speak to yourself as a come on now let us seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness so if you find yourself distracted say come on now let us seek god so you gotta speak unto yourself when you're coming to warfare you gotta say lord take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help you gotta understand when you're in warfare you need to have the word you need to understand the word and if you don't understand the word you gotta pray and say lord i'm asking for a revelation of what i read because you see many people i know you're trying to read the word but when you read the word you don't understand the word but tonight the lord want to let you know when you read and you don't understand pray for the for the spirit of revelation the spirit of revelation means the lord will reveal to you what you are reading and when you read the word of the Lord in Psalms 1, it said to meditate upon the word of the Lord. So when you're reading, don't just run through the Bible because you got some people that race through the Bible through the year. They want to read the Bible quickly. And then you ask them, what did you understand? They can't tell you nothing because they did not meditate upon the word of God. So you got to understand in these last days, taking up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You need to memorize what you read. You need to have a good understanding of what you read if you read the word and you don't understand you call upon your leaders you say man of god i read something last night but i don't understand it and i need a bit of clarity and the man of god will get into the scripture and help you to understand because we know that some people you come to christ but you're on milk and it is the duty of the leaders to get you up to your solids so don't worry when you read the word and you don't understand it just call on your pastor call on your leader and let them know that you read something and i don't understand it don't sit down and worry and say lord i don't get it sometimes the lord wants you to open up your mouth and to speak because a closed mouth is a closed destiny you got to understand that we are in a time now where the word of the lord said we know in part and we prophesy in part so your leaders don't know everything you got to come and speak when you open up your mouth then you will get the help that you need when you open up your mouth then you will get the revelation that you need because there is a, a protocol here in earth where the lord put your leaders in a position to lead you so when you don't get something you need to go and speak with your leader and let your leader help you to understand so in these last days the lord is saying listen take up the word which is a sword of the spirit you got to understand ephesians 6 verse 17 is saying to you tonight you got to put on the full armor and you got to put on the sword of the spirit which is the word of God you got to know the word and you see when I read the Bible and I see how Jesus deal with the enemy if you look in the word of God every time that that, that Satan comes to tempt Jesus the Lord God said to him it is written you got to understand that you got to know what is written in the word of God because every time when the enemy come at you you've got to say satan it is written you gotta always have a word for him whatever he's coming with if he comes with sickness you got to say to him satan it is written that the lord was wounded for my transgression he was bruised for my iniquity the chastisement of my peace was upon him and with his stripe i am healed if he comes with a financial altar you need to get into the word of god and read the scriptures about financial altar you need to read the scriptures how god bless many man of god and my favorite scripture to deal with financial altar for anyone on here that's dealing with the financial altar you need a sword which is the word for that you need to go into first chronicles 4 and verse 10 and you need to read and say lord place upon me the jabez anointing for financial wealth you got to understand that what you need from the lord everything it is written it's in the book it's in the word of god you got to put on the full 
armor of God and you've got to get into the word. You've got to take up the sword of the spirit. Every time you get into this Bible, I tell you the enemy gets nervous. When you take up your Bible, the enemy gets nervous. You've got to go in the word. you got to study the word of the Lord said in the book of Timothy that you are to study to show yourself approved. you got to know that when you're going out and you're speaking to people about the Lord, you got to study to show yourself approved. You got to understand that when you study the word of God, then the enemy knows that he can't come around here and mess with you like he feel like because you know the word. And when it comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord God will raise up a standard against him. And you got to say to him, you come in one way, but you got to flee seven different ways. So when you know the word of God, whatever he comes with, you say, devil, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you to flee him seven different ways. According to the word of the Lord God in Deuteronomy 28, you come in one way, but you got to flee him seven different ways. So people of God, the word of the Lord is saying, put on the sword of the spirit. What? Every situation you are going through, there is a word for that. There is a word for everything that you are facing right now. There is a word in the book. There is a word that it is written. Somebody got to understand it is written. When the enemy come up against you, let him know. Isaiah 57, 14. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against me in judgment, I condemn. That is a sword. That is a word. So you're sending, you're sending an alarm in the realm of the spirit to let the enemy know that I know you're trying, but I decree and I declare that no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against me in judgment, I condemn now. That is a sword that you're sending in the realm of the spirit because it's the word of the Lord. And what does the Lord say? He said, my word will not return unto me void. Come on, somebody got to understand that God said his word will not return unto him void. So when you plead your case and you said, no weapon, no weapon, when the weapon come, they can't not form because you've already declared the word which is a sword you've sent it in the realm of the spirit people of god get to know the god that you serve and you get to know your god when you read the word of god if you want to know god if you want to understand god he's saying here to take up the sword of the spirit which is his word if you want to know your god you need to know what is written it is written people of god so take on the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Somebody got to understand. You got to catch this tonight. You got to understand that you got to get in the word of God. And you got to pray. When, before you take up the Bible and you start reading, just pray and ask the Lord to help you to retain also so that what you read, you don't forget. Because you see many times you read the word but the enemy will come and steal the word. So you got to pray every time before you start to read your Bible. Pray before you read your Bible. Say, Lord, I pray that when I read your word, the word will remain in me. Mighty God, you said that I am to take up the sword of the spirit, which is your word. So Lord, I am praying that whatever I read, Lord, you will give me a revelation of what I'm reading. And mighty God, I'm praying that what I read will stay inside of my spirit. Because the Lord said there are sometimes the word will come and it will fall and dry ground. And somebody got to understand tonight, you don't want to be a dry ground. You want to be good soil so that then the word come, the word stays. Because you see, the enemy is a thief. He comes to kill. He comes to steal. And he comes to destroy. And the thing he tried to steal from us the most is the word of God. Have you ever gone to church and you're sitting in church and the pastor is preaching, but nothing is staying in your spirit? It's as if you're sitting there confused.
confused. When you leave church, somebody say to you, what did the pastor preach about? Sometimes you can't even remember. Why? Because a thief has come to steal the word. So people of God, you got to pray and you got to pray for your, your mind to be guarded so that when you hear the word, when you hear truth, it will stay in you. When you read truth, it will stay in you. People of God, take up the sword of the spirit. Take up your Bible. Read it. Many of you on here, your Bible is gathering dust. You're not reading it. You got to take it up and dust off the dust and start to read it again. You need to get into the word because if you want power, the power is in the word of God. You got to put on the full armor. People of God, the Lord is saying tonight, you need to put on the full armor of God. We are headed into some wicked and evil days. You know soon, we already know that the Bible won't be around for much longer. You know that the Bible won't be around for much longer. So you need to put the word in you from now. So that when you don't have no Bible no more, you can remember your God through what you have already read. You need to understand that there's coming a time where there's going to be a spiritual famine. People of God, and when the spiritual famine come, you need the word of God to take you through that spiritual famine. So you got to understand a spiritual famine is a hunger for the word of God. So you got to understand the word of the Lord is a day that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled people of God you got to hunger and thirst of the righteousness and people of God you shall be filled so take up the sword of the spirit people of God and that is the word and in closing at verse 18 the word of the Lord said praying always with prayer praying always not sometimes not when you feel like it not when the warfare come, praying always. You got to be praying always. People of God, prayer is the most neglected thing in the body of Christ right now. You call prayer meeting, five people or six people might turn up. Sunday morning, the church is filled up of people, but nobody don't want to come to Bible studies and nobody don't want to come to prayer meeting. Have you ever wondered why the enemy does that? It's not the Lord, it's the enemy because the Lord wants you to know the word. So he set up prayer meeting, he set up Bible studies. So when you go to Bible studies, you get the word. He wants you to pray. So he said, listen, do prayer meeting. So you have to understand that you got to pray and you need the word. So somebody on here, you need to understand. You need to start going to Bible studies, start attending Bible studies more. Prayer meeting should not miss you. Well, make it from now on. Don't let prayer meeting miss you because that is where the important part of your Christian walk is, is in prayer. You win the battle against the enemy through prayer because when you pray, you send it up, you send it up, you send it up your, your, your warfare to combat the enemy through prayer. Warfare is something you cannot see. You discern it, you feel it, you know it's happening, but you can't see it. So you can't see the powers. You can't see the principalities. You not see the spiritual wickedness, but you can feel the effect of what it's doing to you. So in order to win against spiritual wickedness, you gotta be praying. This is why the Lord said, praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit. Come on, somebody. You got to be praying in supplication in the spirit. It's not a normal time that we're going in people of God. It's not normal. The word of the Lord said it's evil days. And we're fighting against evil powers. So you got to understand. You got to pray without ceasing in these last days. And it says, and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. People of God, you've got to pray with prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And the word perseverance means that you're not giving up, you're pressing, you're pushing forward. 
you persevere me not you, you you're not easily swayed no matter how it feels you say i'm going i got to go no matter how your body aching and paining me i got prayer meeting i got to get to prayer meeting because i know that all, all i need to do is get to prayer meeting i make pastor just lay on, on me and pray for me and you know that pain is gone because many times we feel aches and pain in our body it's not normal sickness it's a spirit that's inflicting that pain upon your body so you need to press and persevere and get to prayer meeting so the man of god can pray for you the woman of god can pray for you and deal with the sickness people of god prayer should not be neglected in these last days and as we are on the prayer cell today the lord has come with this word just in time that we are to put on the full armor of god so that we may be able to stand against the walls of the enemy and against the evil days people of god put on the full armor remain in christ remain rooted and grounded and understand that after you've done all just stand and i pray that the lord bless you all and keep you may his face continue to shine upon you all and give you peace in jesus mighty name i pray over to you pastor tyrone god bless you all take care be blessed and remain stay faithful remain faithful to god because after you've done all just stand glory be to god god bless you Amen. 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 What a word tonight. Come on, unmute your mic and give God some glory in this atmosphere. What a word. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody give thanks right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am blessed. I don't know about you, but I am blessed. Amen. Amen. I am blessed. Word tonight. Yes, Lord, I am blessed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you know, for this thing, you know, the, this topic of the whole armor is what month and you've been doing for about a month now, isn't so, Bishop? Oh, yeah. Gentle amen hallelujah it's really a blessing oh god uh, uh, true, sir. Send, um, yes send confirmation upon confirmation to his people. amen and, you know as the, woman of, as the woman of god was speaking about the farming <laughs> I, I, I just the spirit of god said but the farming is already here <laughs> Uh, if you if you really listen to some things that is really going out from the from some pulpits nowadays is have and the truth of the matter is have nothing to do with god it's all about self self promotion self elevation and it have nothing to do with the spirit of god i just want to pause and say thank you a minister uh Mel Hattie, and she, I tell you, she keep the Facebook uh, live burning. I, I don't quite remember the days, but anytime she's on it, man, on a topic, there's a fire going on. She always have a word. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Pastor, you want to thank God for every, every Monday, every Monday, Facebook live at 6 p.m. UK Amen. time. Amen. All right, we you know we need to tune in. I always share your live and stuff. Amen. 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 On every you. Monday. Amen. 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 She's up there with a the word and she's she's really committed to the assignment that God give her. You know, some of us is allocated at different places. <laughs> some of us allocated over the pulpit. Some of us are allocated in the street. Some of us allocated over the social media, but we have to get the word out. Amen. So people can be saved. Amen. So uh, people can be delivered. 
Amen. When you when I watch those show and ships are sinking the lifeboat, yeah, that man have a, a, a loudspeaker. We're shouting, signaling that this is where safety is. Amen. This is the season where we have to shout it that in this kingdom is where safety is because darkness is up on the land. I'm going to ask somebody to pray for the woman of God tonight. Amen. Amen. But the woman of God said something so profound. It is written. It is written. Every condition that we go into, uh, there's a scripture, there's a word, amen, that is available for it. I don't know what you're going through tonight, but I want to say to you, just as all the doctor prescribed medication for the condition, I want to tell you tonight that there is a word that is prescribed for your situation. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to say to you, boy, amen, that you shall not die. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can I say that to you again? You shall not die. No matter how much discouragement the devil show at you tomorrow, care. You shall not die. My God, I feel anointing. I feel a release over this platform tonight. I'm just going to ask the woman of God, amen, Minister Valerie Sanders, if she could just pray of this woman of God uh, for releasing such word. Pray for our soul and a covering, amen, if you can, woman of God, if you're available. Uh, uh, Minister Sanders, amen. I see you, Dr. Rose. Blessings to you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you available to pray, woman of God? Ah. Uh. Mr. Valerie Sanders, are you available to pray? All right. Uh, Bishop Jansen, I know you're traveling. I don't know if you reach your destination as yet. No, sir. I am not I'm not traveling, Rev. I'm, I'm okay, you're ready. not traveling. Could you just pray? Could you just pray of the woman of God? I'm Christopher. Brother Christopher, could you just close your mic for us, please? Yes, sir. Um, uh, definitely, Rev. All right. Um, I'm going to pray, Rev, but I was going to ask you for the opportunity just to say something. Um, I yes, heard sir. The woman of God, she, as she shared, she spoke something that your wife spoke this morning on morning you i don't know if you heard um this morning while we we're on morning you and um it just it just it just echo back to me um what your wife said this morning on, on morning you and i know she wasn't on on um, morning you this morning nor speaker tonight is that your wife said closed mouth does not win the battle cannot win the battle and the woman of God said that um, just now in her in her sermon, you're saying to her, there's a word, and I'm and I want to endorse it. I just want to say there is a resounding word, and the people of God, things are happening, and we cannot keep quiet, right? The Lord would have given me the scripture this morning, and I want to release a said scripture that the Lord gave me this morning on parcel. Um, Joshua chapter 6 and verse 20. The Bible says when, when there was a shout, right? The, 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 the people, I'm going to just put it in short so that we can just get it and not get out with the prayer. When the people shouted, the walls came down. If, if whatever you're going through, people on this platform, whatever you're encountering, whatever you're going through, when, um, anything, you cannot keep quiet with what you are going through. You're going to die if you keep quiet. 
if you make a song, you might live. If you make a song, you stand a chance to live. You stand a chance to win the victory. We know that what is we know what is going on in the world. We know. We know. Therefore, we cannot keep quiet with what the enemy is doing. Father, we bless you this evening. Thank you, God Almighty, for your daughter, whom you have ministered to, who you have ministered through and to us. I pray this afternoon, God, that you will bless your daughter, refill her, refresh her one more time. As she would have poured out, I pray, God, that you will pour in. My God, as she would have emptied herself in us, God, I pray that you will fill her. Fill her one more time with your power. Fill her with your anointing. Fill her with your glory. My God, fill up your daughter one more time. God, we come against every ambushing spirit, every ambushing demon that would want to ambush your daughter and the work that she set out to do for you. We come against them. We release ambushing angels to ambush the forces of darkness. Every diabolic spirit, we release ambushing angels uh, to ambush those, those, those demons and, angel, and, and, and the works of darkness that is cut out, God Almighty, to hinder and to stop your daughter from going forward. My God Almighty, even now she would have put on, on herself the armor. God Almighty, we stand by her, beside her, with her, and we help to gird, the, oh God Almighty, the line, the garments, oh God Almighty. We we help her to fix them. We place them upon her in the name of Jesus. Bless her, Almighty God. Bless her family. Cover her. We declare that there will be no backlash in the name of Jesus. No backlash for your servant this afternoon, God Almighty. I pray that you will continue to keep her in perfect peace as her mind is stayed on thee. Minister to her, even in the night season. My God, even as she lay down to rest her head, I pray that you'll continue to minister to her. Send a word, God. God Almighty, to your daughter. I, I pray, God, for everything that concerns your daughter, everything that concerns your daughter, and all that she's worrying about, I command it to be fixed in the name of Jesus. All that bothers her, I speak to them in the name of Jesus. Come in alignment. Come in alignment with the servant of God, woman of God. Whatever you are pondering on, God is going to bring them in alignment with you. Everything that you're pondering on, I don't know what is it exactly you're pondering on. I don't know what is it that you want to step out and you're pondering on it. God is going to bring them in alignment and you are going to move forward. Forward still. You are going to move forward. Elevate your daughter, Almighty God. Elevate your daughter. I don't know her. I don't know you, woman of God, but I, I decree and declare elevation. I declare elevation in the name of Jesus. Yes, and I hear the Lord say, it is coming in alignment with you. Wait Hallelujah. a little bit longer. It yes, is coming Amen. in alignment. I don't know what you want to come in alignment, but it is coming Amen. in alignment. Whatever, yes, whatever my daughter, yes, whatever Lord. woman of God, God Hallelujah. is bringing them in alignment. God yes, bless Lord. you. God bless your servant Jesus. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over to you, Rev. Glory to Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank My you. My God is coming in alignment. We thank God that it's coming. Amen. In an in alignment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank, Thank you God. so much, uh, Bishop Jansen. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just something just, just popped in my spirit. Bless you, uh, Lady Joy Robbins. I see you. Amen. Pop into my spirit as you were talking, Bishop. Sometimes it's good we take action with, with what we hear as well, you know. Amen. As you said, the closed mouth, sometimes we have to open my mouth. Amen. And declare some stuff. Amen. I know one of the things I've been practicing because uh, I have never been a talk under my mind, like never before in this season. It's like every morning I wake up, 
amen, it's like something just sitting and waiting to jump on me. And I have to say, no, I won't accept it. Every morning I have to renew that covenant that I will not accept discouragement. I will not accept the plans of the enemy. I'm not a carrier of depression. My God, I have to open my mouth and declare those stuff. And I tell you, when I open and de open my mouth and declare them, things just start to shift of my environment. Huh? Lord of mercy, if it hadn't been for the Lord, then my enemy would have swallowed me up quickly. I want everyone on this platform, you know what you're going to uh, I, I'm talking severe circumstances. You're going through a difficult time. If you can open up your mic and begin to declare some stuff over this platform, amen. Declare some things over your family life. I see that up. Hands up, Lady uh, Vivinette. Vivinette, if I pronounce it correctly. Amen. But I pray that you will begin to declare in this atmosphere. Declare your healing. It is written. What is written about you this season? What is God saying about you this season that is not lined up in your environment? We want to put that word in practice. Those who are on the Facebook, those who are on the YouTube, we want to put it in practice. We want to pull the sword out of the sheet tonight. Uh, my God Almighty, and begin to cut asunder. My God Almighty, because there are some things I've, as I'm talking, I just feel the Holy Spirit coming upon me. There are some things that seems like it set up itself to overrun us, to mold us down. But I decree this evening and this morning in the uk hallelujah as the woman of god says when you've done all as paul says stand and relax in the presence of god knowing that he had things under control lady cadian summit god have it under control lady jennifer Wright, god have it under control lady judith Anton, God have it under control. My God Almighty, sometimes we just have to open up our mouth and let the devil know who we are. My God, can I remind you that you are a child of God? Can I remind you there's a stamp on your life, a stamp of approval that God put on your life that no circumstances can take off. There's a stamp, a seal of the Holy Ghost and you that no devils from hell my God can damage can I tell you you are you are a property of the king of heaven you are God, child, come on, somebody. I'm helping you. Depression don't have no power over you. Oh, As the woman of God was preaching, for about principalities, for about rulers of this world. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. God, he has raised us up with Jesus Christ. Jesus, uh, can Jesus, I can't give me seems like uh, my God where you had uh, yeah, the devil is about to bury you. My God, you are about to miss opportunity. You are living in a time and a place and a space of disappointment. Uh, but can I tell you that you're seated uh, in heavenly places? Uh, I want to read. Yes, this, uh, as a woman of God preached tonight, uh, for about principalities, uh, my God Almighty, you are standing on the things that were set up to bury you, you're standing on the thing that was set up to kill you, you're standing on a firm foundation, uh, my God, your God, he's a champion, can I tell you somebody, ah, uh, that's why you need to open up your mouth uh, and begin to talk to your atmosphere and say, 
must first time that you shift, must there is time that you move into a place that favor me. You are not here to press me down. I'm no barrier of depression. I'm no carrier of oppression. My God, the instrument of the Almighty, that is that. But to be but abused by the devil, my God, I'm special. I'm anointed. I'm appointed. Come on, somebody. Glory to God, glory, hallelujah, Jesus. I am glory, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, 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 in my praise, my God, I just need to open my mouth and declare. Oh God, I just need to open my mouth and launch. I just need to Hallelujah. Open my Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you're worthy. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Somebody need to get up and let the devil know I'm not going to spend my morning worrying about what God already fixed. I'm not going to spend my days worrying about what God already sought out. Hallelujah. I'm not going to spend my night, my God in turmoil, because God already fixed it up. I don't know who I'm talking to. It's the season. Somebody need to drop that water pan off. Drop it off your head. Drop that water pan off. Drop that vault of depression, oppression, confusion, wondering if God is going to come true. He is. He is. He is. He is going to come true. I decree life, my God, into your situation right now. I decree that the life will oppress you out, my God will pull you out right now. The life of Christ will pull you out right now. Out of that mighty play in the name of Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost pulling out somebody right now. Take strength for your witnesses. Oh, Shadabahai, Hilabahasutra. Take strength. I hear the Holy Ghost say, take strength. Take strength for your weaknesses right now. Come on. Make a trade right now. For the glory. Make a trade right now. Mark, which I don't know what you need to trade in right now, but make a trade right now. My God, I hear you, Lord. Make a trade right now. You worried about the papers? Make a trade right now. My God, you worry about the health, the report of the doctor? Make a trade right now, somebody. My God, trading, trading into the spiritual realm, trading. Jesus is about to write us something. Lord of mercy, Jesus is, is about to correct a, a situation. Make a trade. I hear you, Holy Spirit, that somebody need to make a trade. I'm God so God can take that situation. Oh, as I'm talking in the spiritual matter, I hear it loud and clear in the spirit realms because some of us arms and gloves of what we're going through 
too much and make it personal that we won't even give it to Jesus. We put a wedge between what we are going to that we, we don't expose it to the fire of God, but remove the wedge. My God, don't personalize that problem. It's not yours. Give it up. Give it back. Release it. Give it to the problem solver. Can I talk to somebody on this platform tonight that you should give that problem right now as I'm talking to you. I feel life is coming out of my body. Give that problem right now. My God to Jesus. Oh, somebody just open your mic and begin to shout a praise. My God. my God, 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 my I was recently talking to my son. Apostle Odell, and I was saying to my pastor something that was considered failure is not really failed. My God, this was an opportunity that God set up for you to take another route, to take another route that He has designed. Some things that we are worrying about is God cancel it. Well, can I talk to you for real? Some things that we believe that we miss, God cancel it because he didn't want us to take that course. He didn't want us to take that route because he have a better plan for us. My God Almighty. Amen. 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 Can I talk to you because Amen. he have a better plan. He have a better story. He have a better finish. My God Almighty. And we're worrying about the things. My God, that we have not received access to my God, did God said he wants you to receive access to those stuff because so some of those stuff is set up to destroy you. So you have to take you away from it. Hallelujah. And bring you into a course that he wants you to take. Can I tell you this afternoon that God is about to take and turn some disappointments into appointment. Hallelujah. 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 My God, my God, my God, my God, that you rest up for me because 
God want to turn some of us in employer while we severely seek an employment. Lord, God Almighty, that's why he's pushing you to another place and probably saying to you, take on another study and you'll be saying, God, I need money now. Right. But God is saying that uh, you need to take that course because when you take that course, uh, that's where I'm going to elevate you. My God, sometimes when we see the natural and it might seem that what we need now, but God is saying the spiritual, what you think that you need is going to delay you from what uh, God I've given you that you really need. My God Almighty, I hope somebody's listening to me. My God, but our anxiety is saying us that we need it now, but God is saying, no, not now. He don't want you to take that step. He don't want you to, to take that half because you have a greater plan. You have a greater half. Something that going to see you out of this. Something thing that will bless you that will bless your generation that will bless your family that will turn your whole generation line around can i talk to somebody for real my god mother she didn't come out of the house because she said jesus you came late and i'm vexed and i'm mad but jesus was on time with a miracle i don't know about you if you're sitting at the edge of anxiousness but i hear the spirit of god says i'm just in time on time to do that wish you need to be done my god you might be saying it's buried and it's dead and he hope to come in back alive but as the woman of God said after you done all, you pray, you fast, and you seek God face, stand and relax in His presence, because God, that it is God to do it can i talk to you, to you for real that is going to come true on your behalf my god as i'm talking i wish somebody's receiving your healing my god i can see a load is coming off your head your head has been on the top being bombarded by all sorts of situation saying god this one is gonna kill me but no you shall not die my god i wish somebody would just say that loud no i Shall not die. I know 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 Victorious. Victorious. Coming out victorious. Coming out victorious. I need to talk to you about your victorious position tonight. You may not see it right now, but you're coming out victorious. Hey, Labasha, Kulibiasa. And can I tell you? that no car accident can cancel the victory that is ahead can i tell you but the devil can't rob you can i tell you i'm talking to your spirit you need to listen in the spirit and as i'm talking to you you need to let go that fear that compress you about to say that i've seen this before and it didn't work out well but i'm gonna tell you that god is gonna intercept and he's going to write into that situation that's saying that, my God, it's impossible. And he's going to turn the impossible into possibility. And the possibility is going to create opportunity. Because right now as I'm talking, I feel in my spirit, somebody, you're on the hedge because your job is under a chart, is under a, a, a threat but i hear god says that he's about to turn it around uh, his hands is in it come on somebody you're saying god if i lose this job i'm gonna pay the bills but i hear god said my hands is in it uh, god and once his hands in it can i Give some comfort to your mind. The bills will pay. My God, the mortgage will pay. Hey, Kosa, you cannot be evicted. 
protected from your house, your place of residence. Uh, can I talk to you for real? The kids will go to school and you'll, I hear it. What about the university bill? That will also pay. Can I talk to somebody? Ah, uh, God, I hear you, Lord, on this platform tonight. He's saying that I'm still the way maker. I'm still the miracle worker. My God Almighty, I'm saying to you, express, expect a blessing. My God, I haven't moved like this on the prayer cell for a long while, but I felt God release me tonight to release His people. Can I talk to you for real? But this season, you're coming out. As all God says to David, pursue my because I can see some of your valuable things are running before you in different hands that is not yours but I hear God says pursue and as you pursue you're going to overtake I'm saying to you this season that you're going to overtake everything that belongs to you you're going to recover it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God Almighty, I wish you to stop into the prophetic times right now and begin to name your things and claim them in the name of Jesus. As you go to the lost and found, you can identify your stuff and you say, yes, that belongs to me. I have the receipt for it. There's some things that belongs to you that you need to claim in the spirit realms tonight. My God, that boy, he shall not die. He shall come back. That God shall come back. In the name of Jesus, the husband shall come back. Somebody begin to celebrate as your name and claim that which belongs to you. My God, as for me and my house, that's what Joshua did in name and claim. My God, the position that his house will be in. Somebody need to name and claim tonight. As for me and my house, as for me and my finance, as for me and my worship, as for me and my pursuing God, as for me and my peace, as for me and my joy, as for me and my sleep. No insomnia have no power over me. For me and my will be no sickness, have no authority over me. Amen, I feel some things giving up. I feel some things are giving up in stronghold. My God has for me. Hey, somebody declare has for me in my house, has for me in my life, has for me in my destiny. My God has for me in my purpose, has for me in my assignment. Somebody need to release yourself. My God, from the clutches of limitation, from the clutches, my God, of things that slow you down. Make a change. Make a trade in the name of Jesus. Have for me. And the ministry has for me. My God, I just want to thank you tonight, Lord. I just want to thank you tonight. Is there anything that you want to tell God thanks for tonight? I see you on this platform prophetically you don't see it happening yet but in your spirit you hear it it is done it is finished it is coming true it's gonna manifest can i talk to you for real tonight my i don't see it yet, but i know it's already done because what my god says it 
is going to do it. My God, and there's nothing that he can do. Can I talk to you right now? There's nothing that you can't do. My God, you can go to your bed tonight and sleep in that situation. But as you change your sheet tomorrow morning, that's how God going to change your situation. And prophetically, I hear you, God. Some of you need to just get up and change your sheet and put on bright colors. My God, change your curtains, put on bright colors. Because God is about to change your environment. My God Almighty, I hear you right now. Lord God is about to breathe into the place. My God of darkness and pull life out of it. Ah, your situation is about to change. Oh, Jesus. I just want to thank you tonight for what you've done to your servant. I want to thank you tonight, Lord, for everyone on this platform. As we lock into the miracle tonight, Lord God, as we lock into what you're saying and in what you're doing, we just want to give you glory. We just want to give you honor. We just want to give you praise. My God, somebody shout a thank you, Jesus, if you can right now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you for healing right now, prophetically. Thank you. If you're feeling sick, thank hallelujah. Thank my God, you because I'm so cool on this platform feeling sick tonight. Hallelujah. But you to be clear that I'm healing the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm healing the name of Jesus. Sometimes, I think it was last year or here before, I don't even quite remember. I think it was last year. I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, um, "Type two diabetic." I, I I said this over and over. And I and I and I and I say to myself, as a doctor, I not diagnosed said, "I'm not diabetic in my spirit. I will not receive that." And I begin to declare it. And I went on a on a on a, on a spiritual instruction instruction by the lord for three weeks when i went back to the doctor the doctor said i see changes huh. you know a lot of type 2 diabetic i see you know pre-diabetic hmm. and i still say to god that i'm gonna come out of this zone completely i'm gonna clear this zone completely and as I declare in the spirit realms, the Lord begin to change things. The Lord begin. <laughs> yes, lady. Anderson, the Lord is a healer. Jesus is a healer. And I'm saying this to say to you tonight. That God. Right now, what you go with you. The Lord can take it out of your body completely what you're going through right now the lord can take it out of your body completely a lady uh, uh our minister mel but i know uh bishop johnson spoke to you but that special request that you're praying for you're asking god to add to your life i saw in the spirit just a while ago that the lord has released it the lord has released it the lord has released it the lord has released, lord has released that package Amen. I, I just want to say it like that in wisdom. 
because the Lord don't have me say a lot of things out clearly anymore. But I saw that package have been released. And there's going to be a celebration, Lady uh, Minister Ati. There's going to be a celebration. The Lord has released it. Amen. Amen. On amen. Time, thank you, Jesus. On this time. Yes. Amen. Thank we you, thank Jesus. God for it tonight. Amen. Amen. I also saw in the spirit realms that uh, uh, <laughs> for that lady that is praying about that baby, I saw the Lord open of your womb as so we open Rachel who while I was worshiping I heard in the spirit a uh, conception conception amen I saw the womb open up amen and I saw that baby I saw that baby <laughs> my God I decreed and declare it that this is your here to celebrate motherhood. You gonna give your husband a baby. Labo shadia basata. Hallelujah. Mande ke balaba kushata tayada basete. Can I say it again? Usha hasata yamasoto. You gonna give your husband a baby. Hey, oh, sir, Asuto says the Lord, you're not just going to give him a baby, but you're going to give him a man child. This is how the Lord has been del uh, deliberate with me tonight. You're going to give him a man child. Oh, sir, yeah, 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 but shake it. I saw your womb open up. <laughs> and the lord has blessed your home tonight you're gonna testify my god before we hear him you're gonna celebrate and as i'm 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 declaring it i decree that whatever plans of the enemy have for the child it will not prosper my god there will be no mist carriage usa usha there will be no premature birth because the lord give it good gift hallelujah and this gift will not die yes god we thank you 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 and we call it done right now in the name of jesus hallelujah and glory to god i know sometimes we heard word like this and we know it belongs to us and we seem to celebrate it but you don't have to celebrate publicly because that's hallelujah. the way we do things over here we are seeking the glory amen because we know that it's already done hallelujah we know that it's already done and we know it's that it's a, it's a it's because i can feel it i can feel it in my spirit amen hallelujah amen his lady kd on, on here i remember i was on my live and a facebook live sometime this this year was it this year lady kd i didn't know that this girl was was, was 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 yeah i was carrying a baby glory to god but suddenly i just felt my 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 my, my belly just stiff out and I begin to declare over that child life. And then she revealed to me that, that she's the one, she's pregnant. I was praying for her before that, but then I just feel my belly just stick out. And, and, and tonight I felt that same kind of feeling. Amen. But prophetically, in the spirit, and I decree shall manifest in the natural as oh God release it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you know what? I'm going to be deliberate as the Lord is making this deliberate because you've been trying for a little, for a while now and it has been a frustration in the relationship. My God. 
I hear it loud and clear. That was the frustration spell is broken. My God, in the name of Jesus, ah, live the, the childless drought has broken tonight. Oh, sha, ah, yeah. Ye go shut up a casuka cascote. Man de cobosa. Yeka. I hear you, Lord. Thank you for doing it right now in the name of Jesus. And I say to you prophetically, welcome to motherhood. I say to you prophetically, welcome. 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 Ah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, so to Satayama. I say it one more time as the spirit put it on me. Welcome to motherhood in the name of Jesus. Hey, I feel blessed. I feel your blessing. We thank you, Lord, for tonight. In the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. Uh, our husband, Tarun, Tarun. Mm-hmm. We thank you tonight, Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We thank you. We thank you. Come on, somebody just give God thanks. We thank you. We thank you, we thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a pastor on this platform. Amen. As I was praying for that woman. But about to give birth. Amen. I saw you, I saw in the spirit realm that are uh, you struggling <laughs> recently? Uh Viv, could you close your mic for me, please? I don't know. My laptop not closing the mic tonight. Amen. I saw in the spirit realms. Uh, you've been struggling. I say struggling uh, in the sense of uh, recently um, it's like some kind of warfare has rise up in the ministry. And you're wondering what trigger this warfare. And it seems like the it seems like that the ministry, the whole ministry, like things are just shifting, things are just changing in the ministry. Uh, like a seed of discord had been sown and it causing disruption in the ministry. But I hear the Spirit of God says that it is well. It is well. Because uh, I see in the spirit realms that the Lord is opening up something that have been covered for years. And what caused the disruption is because something is about to expose. So that the ministry can become healthy. So the ministry can become healthy. Amen. There's something that I also see in the spirit realms that there are some people about to leave, but there are some people about to come. 
there's a greater harvest about to come. But for the greater harvest to take effect, uh, there are some people, uh, the Lord is going to shift. So what the church, the ministry, can become healthy and productive. The Lord said, be not worry. In due season, uh, he's going to put things in working order. In due season, he's going to put things in working order. <clears throat> he's going to work it out he's gonna work it out glory to god the ministry is blessed i want to see all the hands of pastors on this platform right now and there, there's something that the lord has laid in my spirit just to pray over you um all the pastors just put on your hand those who are not pastors all the pastors just put your hands up Ula Basanda. Mm -hmm. I see your hands, Bishop. Dr. Rose, I want you to put your hands up. I want you to put your hands up as well, Dr. Rose. Because of the shepherd heart. Yes, sir. Carry the shepherd yeah. ministry that the Lord is having you to do. Amen. Amen. Uh, Dr. Rose, you know, as I'm talking and I'm calling you, I, I see God is about to put you over a congregation. Yes, sir. I, that's confirmation, sir. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, my God. It is so. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. So nobody can. Nobody can stop what God want to do with your life in a Dr. Rose. Amen, uh, Pastor. Man, I feel anointing going to visit you this season. Uh, just, uh, I'm going to show you a scenario what God is showing me. Go ahead, there sir. was a season that Elijah was running <laughs> from Jezebel and Ahab, and he sat under a juniper tree. Yes, sir. But after that season, Elijah was running in front of the chariot. chariot. Come on, that's my yeah. chariot. Oh. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. ah, the chariot will not have run him. Jesus. Yeah. I see the Lord is, 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 is going to give you an unusual anointing this season <laughs> Amen. to run past to run past some stuff Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> to run past some stuff oh my god hmm. not just of the past but some stuff <laughs> but the evil in the present that have been set up as delay i see god gonna anoint you to run past some stuff this season Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see Hallelujah. the Lord going to cause you to run into those people that is waiting mm. on that which he has invested in your life. Jesus, mighty God. There are some people who have been waiting for you for a time now. Yes, true. But there's been some stuff that have been set up that causing delay. Ah, Jesus. Yes, sir. And it that cannot causing, give uh, me the date. Destination. But I see this season that as oh Elijah mm -hmm. run past the chariot of Ahab, not in fear, but in victory, in confirmation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You see, one of the time Elijah was running in fear. But the, the other time, after that season, he was running in confidence and assurance. I see the spirit 
of confidence. The Lord is about oh, yes. to bless you with great confidence. Ah, yeah. Hallelujah. Makusha, my God, my God. Whoa, God. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your servant. Bless your servant, Lord. Hey, Baba Shaka, Baba. Sanda. Mama Jesus. Hallelujah. I want some more people to put your hands up. You you involved in, in ministry. Come on. Um uh Minister Mel, put your hands up as well. You know you are you're involved in, in gathering this end time office. Amen. You know God is speaking to you through vision. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you can anointing on your life. You want to go. You want to go this season to the places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to you want to win soul for the Lord. Hey, Kalavashanda. There's anointing of ministry that have been that is being released right now over this platform it's gonna pull you out of your comfort zone it's anointing of fire and i pray that as you lift your hand the spirit of god will just come up on you in a powerful way Hey, Sha, that will give you great insight. Oh, Kalabasuta. Hey, Fa, oh, Sha, Madula Basata will release you from every sphere, Ma, sake, from every setback. Oh, hey, Kabasanda, as Jesus said to the disciples, I sent you. I decree that the Spirit of God is sending you tonight. Uh, my God, some of you are going to start with your family, with the husband, with the children. My God. God with the wives, eh? Kobo Shakata. Then you're gonna go to your neighbors. Hallelujah. We decree it over your life tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, some of you, my God Almighty, set your papers in order because the Lord is gonna have you traveling doing ministry. Hey, Kaba Sutolabahai, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for the great release over the ministries tonight, Holy Ghost. Ah, God, we thank you for the assignments and the appointments in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Hey, Kaba I see some of you that you you're gonna do new work when i say new work you're gonna plant church you may not be the pastor right but i see some of you gonna go places and plant church because there's an assignment on your life in this season that you cannot ignore my god there's a mighty calling on your life and god is getting ready to send you to those places to send you to those valley those places that in need of your voice those places those people that is in need of your anointing i see god is about to shift you as though jesus shift and go to the places that the people was waiting that the people was hoping and roof and sending them people were sick to be healed I see and hover flow coming my god oh jesus and listen listen i know this one what this one for amen but I'm just going to put it like, oh, God has given me. I see you've been praying. I see you've been praying. Ernest is saying, God, I want to come to the place where I'm financially stable, that I don't have to work in the secular environment that i can do ministry full time i want to become financial freedom uh, so i can do the ministry the way and i can go the places that you want me to go i see god is about to set you up <laughs> my god 
you're not just going to be uh, at a place where you are financially stable, but you're going to have an anointing on your life so strong, Pastor Nicole Maxwell Jansen, that you're going to release people. You're going to bring people into financial freedom, Pastor Nicole Jansen. Pastor Nicole Jansen, I see the Lord about to set a foundation that you're going to become financial stable. And you're not just going to become financial stable, you're going to bring people in this freedom that the ministry that is on your life will become excellent. Will become excellent. Because you're going to come to a place where you're going to do ministry full time. Full time. In traveling. In setting up shop. In setting up foundation. I see that there's a mantle on your life. that A, a, a business mantle. Oh, God Almighty. Yeah. That God Amen. has given you a kingdom, a business mantle that God has gave you for the kingdom. Oh, ah, Musa yekeba hasuta ya, Musa hasato ya bahanda. And I see God is about to release some things and make some things happen. And I see you, Ma sekoto baba sata walking out of employment sooner than what you plan hmm. it lesser than what you plan you said this is the year god that i'm i'm gonna be financial uh, free from certain things because of what's set up but i see it gonna happen sooner than you think i was trying to keep your name out of it but the lord just released it i can't help it glory to god hallelujah my god that's it thank you jesus i feel as i was praying amen over uh the start of the leaders i felt somebody with a, a chest pain uh, you, you you you're having severe chest pain i want to pray for you right now because there's a healing eh? just put your hands back down so i can i can i can see the person my God, just put back your hands down. Those hands are is up. Uh, you're having a severe chest pain. I want to pray for you. Amen. 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 Just put the hands down that, that is not having the pain. I see three hands up. I see Pastor Nicole hands up. I see minister mel hand up and i see uh anasa tay i don't know if i pronounced that right amen lady brooks i see your hands up are you experiencing a chest pain at this point normally when the lord reveals these things to me amen uh it's an appointment and an assignment that he has given to me to pray for amen i'm no doctor amen but when the lord do this amen that means he has given me has released the assignment and the anointing for such situation and as you lift your hands tonight i pray for your healing in the name of jesus I pray that the Spirit of God will take that pain away right now, immediately, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it stop right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree it will not go no longer no longer it's i decree stop right now as god says it 
it stopped right now in the name of Jesus. I decree no more chest pain. No more chest pain. In the name of Jesus. Yes. My God. My God. There's a release. Thank you for the release. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the release. Uh, Bianca uh, Vicar, Bianca Vicar, I want to pray for you. Bianca Vicar, are you able to unmute your mic? Because I want to ask you a question, Bianca Vicar. If you are able, if you're here with me, Bianca, I just want to talk to you for a minute. It is well with those who, who put your hand up about the chest pain. I, I see the Lord just uh, did it. Bianca uh, Vicar. I hear me, Bianca. All right. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You hear me? My name Shelly. Why are you? Hello? Is that Bianca? Yeah, I'm at work. You got work, all right. Are, are you saying? Uh, Bianca, you're a Christian. Oh, boy, my accent because I, I heard the Lord calling you. Hello? Why I asked you, I heard in the spirit the Lord calling you. Hello, are you hearing me? Oh, she's not hearing me. But Bianca, I heard the Lord calling your name tonight. I heard the Lord calling you. Calling me. Bianca. I'm at work, but I can't really talk. But I can talk. Yeah. Are you saved? Are you a Christian? <laughs> yeah, I'm saved. I heard the Lord calling you tonight. I'm, I'm living a little life. Hello? There's a there's an echo. There's an echo. All right, just close your mic, Abian. Then you close your mic. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray that whatever the plans of the enemy, it will not prosper. Whatever the plans of the enemy, it will not prosper. And I decree that that that, that the that nefarious plan that I see that the enemy put in place, it will not manifest. It will not manifest. You know, I, I, I'm talking to you, but I just felt this spirit of sadness just come over me. This, this, the, it's like a it's like a close, a close, a, a covering of sadness just, just come over me. But I decree whatever plans of the enemy, it will not prosper. Will not prosper. 
not prosper. I'm trying to say it as gently as I can. Amen. But um, this is a season that you need to find that secret place. The secret place. Because I see the enemy want to expose you to a place of danger and influence. Mm -hmm. And I pray that this season that the Lord will put you in the right company in the right company i pray this season the lord will put you around the right people i pray that godly counsel will be your resting place in this season we thank god for the what he have interrupt tonight amen and let me tell you that no weapon that form against you <laughs> lord have mercy no weapon that form against you none shall prosper yeah man yeah man you know as i'm talking to you Bianca, um, it sounds like you're pretty young. That's why I, I, I really did need to hear your voice. It's like you brought me back to, 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 you know, to a place. Um, one time I was in a, 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 a community. Um, nothing wrong with the community. It's a God bless community, Allison, but. I was at the wrong place. Amen. And I, I get caught up in, the, in doing the wrong things. So I begin to walk under a curse. And I thank God that I, I, I came out of that curse in the sense of people pray for me. Uh, and the curses break off my life. But the Lord revealed to me that, that, that there are some places that the enemy set up with some curses. And it's just it's not just for one person. But if you're not under the covering of Jesus, if you're not under the covering of Jesus, it's like that curse is set to catch you. And that's why you find a, a, a lot of people at the same way because guess what? There's an altar. That's where I'm going to go on. There's an altar that is in charge of the behavior. And that's why uh, when um, I find myself smoking weed, I find myself drinking, I find myself doing things, I find myself that, at, at places that, that was far from who I was supposed to be. Because that altar, my God, I wish somebody would sketch it like as I'm getting it. The altar was, was in operation. I, I, I take dominion over my life. And when I get saved, I think it was like two weeks for, for all majority of my life i never feel sick i never go to the doctor nothing i tell you never go to the doctor all the drinking all the smoking all of that i never get sick or nothing but two weeks after i get saved ah uh, i remember when i just get filled with the holy ghost i think it was one week two weeks some i don't remember clearly I was coming from church and when I went to my bed, I saw this bright light just come at me and I saw this face like a, 
A demonic face was just running at me. And suddenly, the Holy Spirit had me to speak in tongues and then I just see this disappear. But a few days of that, after that, I find myself paralyzed. And I'm talking about, uh, about 12 years ago or something like that, 13 years ago. Find myself paralyzed. I never sick before, but I get I couldn't I couldn't get up. I couldn't lie down. My foot them wasn't working, and I know that was an attack because I have I've escaped. I've escaped the altar. So whatever was under control of the altar was mad that I was that I have escaped it. And I was praying for your Bianca. This is what came back to me. That you have escaped some stuff. And there's some stuff that is mad at you. But I pray a covering tonight. That the snare of the enemy. And this is what the prayer cell is for. To pray for people and to set people free. Not to promote no one. So I pray tonight that no trap that's set against you will prosper. And I pray that you will find that secret place and that you will surrender completely. Give yourself to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, Labashanda. And I decree no sickness will take you out. No sickness, Lord, will take you down. Hey, Labasha. No heart attack. No heart attack. No heart attack. No heart attack. No witchcraft. Makasu to Yabahai, no witchcraft. Lebaka Suto, my God, no boy will lay with you on the street. My God, no rape, no knife, no gun. Eka, we pray blood covering, no tampering with what you drink, no tampering with what you eat. Hey, no spell. So at you. Hey, Basa. Mashe Koto. No spell that show at you. No friend, enemy. People get close to you. That want to destroy your life. I decree. My God, I feel. Also, that something happened to my body as I'm praying for you, Bianca. But I decree in the name of Jesus that there will be a peace over you by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. We we are about to wrap this up, but somebody shout hallelujah. Hey, Kabasunda. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 You will not be a victim to exploitation. Bianca, you will not be a victim. I hear that in my spirit. To exploitation in the name of Jesus. Huh? My God, we pray that the Spirit of God will cover every uh, vulnerability in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, cover every vulnerability no peer pressure no bad influence cover the mind in the name of jesus we cancel the plan of the enemy 
Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you tonight. Amen. We thank you. My Lady Lisa, I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lisa uh, Sanderson. Amen. Uh, you know, um, what we talk about, I want to pray for you. Amen. I'm going to pray as amen, wise as I can. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise Hallelujah. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah, 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank oh, yeah. you, Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. Basha. My God. I pray right now, uh, uh, Lady uh, Lisa Sanderson, in the name of Jesus, that that we need to be done right now in your body as we pray father you know the circumstances you know what need to leak out you know what need to dry up father i pray right now that the anointing of jesus christ that Heal the sick, that open the eyes of the blind, the deaf, but raise the dead. We just touch uh, uh, this uh, uh, this woman body right now. Touch, oh Lady Lisa mm -hmm. Sanderson, right now. I pray that the next time God that she visit the hospital, it will be a wow moment because mm -hmm. of the. Blood. I pray God that the delay will work in her favor. My God. Lord God. We speak to the root cause right now. And what need to come up and come out. Let it come up and come out Jesus. of her body right now. Yes, Lord. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What need to come up and come out right now? Let it come out. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, oh God, by the power of the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that is keeping her body as an hostage to sickness. My God, I pray right now that there will be a release. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And we say that it is done by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everything that cluster upon the lungs and causing, my God, water to gather, we pray that it shall leak out right now. As I'm praying, God, let, let there be an operation take place right now. God, by your power, by your spirit, yes, in the name of Jesus. And we decree complete deliverance mm. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Jesus, thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pray about that back pain right now. Ah, Yadabasuta. Jesus. Ekalabasuta. Holy Spirit. Ekalabasanda. 
Let there be a release. Let there be comfort in that body right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, for doing it right now. We thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, for the breakthrough. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank Amen. you, Lord, Jesus. for the healing. We yes, thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank yes. you, Lord. Hey, Lord. Mm. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the healing. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the healing. Amen. Sister, uh, uh, Sister Lisa Sanders, just exercise your faith and believe and just shout out to God. Amen. Just give a shout of Thank praise you, to God. Exercise your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. I know you might be feeling that well right now, but exercise Amen. your faith and just give God a shout out. I believe Hallelujah. that you are healed in the name yes. of Jesus. Just that you can't do God right now, and I thank mm. you for Ayadabas for doing it right now in Jesus' name. Hey, Labasanda, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank, thank you, Jesus, thank you. Amen. Uh, Amen. Lady, Thank I'm going to do one more person. I think I'm going to come off the live tonight. Amen. Uh, anybody have any prayer requests, put it in the chat. Amen. And I'm going to ask our lady, Anne Marie James, to just pray over the requests if she can. Amen. But Lady Jennifer Wright. I just heard in my spirit, it's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new season. It's a new day. As I'm talking to you, I see, I see some things turning around. As I'm talking to you, I feel something shifting. I heard the Lord said, it's a new season. Amen. It's a new day. I don't know how long you've been waiting on this new day, on this new season. But I hear God said, this is your season. Amen. Your season of breakthrough. Hallelujah. I heard God said, You're not forsaken. You're not forgotten. This yes, is your season. Amen. Your season of shifting, your season of change. Yes. Ababa Shikete. Hey, Mando Dabasata. As, I, as I'm talking to you, I just feel like uh, on, on the right side of my head, this said it just, just pop up. I don't know how severe your condition is and, 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 and what you've been through or what you're going through. Been through a lot. But, 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 but I know as I feel this load on my back, I heard God said it's a new season. Amen. It's a new day. Fresh anointing. Amen. The Lord is refreshing you. The Lord is renewing your strength. Man that abakusa. In the name of Jesus. Hey, I, I, I speak to your 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 blood vessels, your 
that there will be no brain hemorrhage, there will be no brain tumor, there will be no depression. I speak to your mental health and say your mental health is well. My God, hallelujah. Ekosa. Ah, God, let your deliverance release this woman right now. Amen. Take off every load, take off every burden. Break in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Break, 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 break. Hallelujah. That you, you right now in the name of Jesus, that, that the Spirit of God is breaking you free right now. Jesus, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 11, 28, 30 said his yoke is his is burning and his light. Amen. Lord God, thank you for taking up and taking off as you touch your, your servant tonight, as you touch this woman tonight. Amen. My God, my wife said last week that you shall not die there. I decree that the circumstances that's setting you up to die will not kill you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will become strong and it you, you will hold, live it in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you right now. Hallelujah. Amen. And the power of the Holy Ghost. But do with it now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. It's well. Hallelujah. It is well. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. It is well. Yes, Lord. It is well. I heard that. I just hear the Lord is saying it. Uh, uh, Lady Jennifer, right? It is well. Amen. Hallelujah. It is well. Amen. Glory to God. I feel a shift in your atmosphere. My God, I feel the Spirit of God just lift up the weight, and there's a shift Hallelujah. in your atmosphere. And we want to thank God, thank my you. God, for the miracle tonight. We want to thank God for the hope endures tonight. Hey. Amen. You Jesus, hey, call our city. Oh God, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. Doing it right now. Jesus. 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 And Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know I said one more person, but uh, Lady Antonetti, I don't know, but, the, but from you came on, the Lord has put you in my spirit. I just want to pray for you as well before you go. Amen. And I just want to pray your strength up in this season. Amen. I pray your strength up in this season. I pray for I pray the Lord will give you strength. Will give you strength. Will give you strength, Lady Antonette. The Lord, I pray that He will give you strength. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. I pray for strength for the warfare, strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. Strength for your life, strength for this season. Thank you, Lord. Strength for the 
strength, Lord, strength. Strength for your grace is sufficient. Amen. My God, sufficient strength. Oh, Strength. Jesus. Hey, my God, strength, strength. That's what I, that's all I heard in the spirit, in the strength. Hallelujah. Strength. I see the battle and I pray that, that the Lord will give you strength. Amen. And as the woman of God preached tonight, the Lord will cause you to stand in the midst of the uh, adversities. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. And the Lord will be a fence and a wall that you will advance in the things that he has gave you amen i pray for your strength tonight thank you lord for your strength in the name of jesus amen that the lord will give you victory receive it over the warfare in jesus name my god thank you lord. my god everything that is trying to suffocate you everything that is trying to cancel you everything that i try to kill you everything where i try to hold you down hey every mouth that open up to curse you to tie you up yeah Kasuta, tonight we decree strength for you. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Thank you, Lord. God, mercy. Hey, Labashata. Thank you for the release Thank tonight. You. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the release tonight. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Jesus. My God. My God. Oh, la bakasuta. Jesus. Oh, la bakasanda. Ye kalabashuta yabashata kasuta. My God. The enemy will not set you up. Lord. The enemy will not frame me until I am frame you. Thank you, Lord. La basata ya baba basuta. Manda kasata. Every character attack, character assassination will fail in the name Jesus of Jesus. Name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Ah, yashe kota pa suta la baba. My God, we expose the lying term. We expose the lie of the enemy. Hey, by fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, shake up us. I feel a deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, kaba suta yabasha yabahai. My God. God, I feel like you've been chewing in the lion's den. But as oh God stopped the mouth of the lion that they wouldn't eat Daniel. Lord Amen. have mercy. Hey. My God, you're gonna walk into your deliverance. Ah. Amen. Lady, and Are you in the UK? Yes, sir. So you're gonna walk into your deliverance. I hear God says that you're gonna walk in your deliverance. I, I receive it. 
pass from today you're going to walk in your deliverance. Amen. Amen, Lord. Yeah. I see, I see, as I'm praying for you, I see a past of worry. But you worry about certain things. But yes, God said, don't worry about it. Amen. Don't worry about it. I'm going to fix it. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said, I see like a pastor, a pastor that set before you, a pastor of worry just standing right before you like a mirror. I don't know if you get up and you look into it and before you go to your bed, you look into it. But it stand up before you. The Lord Thank says that he's going to fix it. Thank you, Lord. My God, we thank you this morning. Thank you. Basha. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. You, Hallelujah. My God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hey, mind that Bashekubushakuta Yabahanda. Hey, You know what I saw? I know you, I don't know if you're uh, uh, if you're working or you're not working, but I saw a job. I saw a job that you were praying for. I, I just heard it in my spirit. Job. I saw a job just just open up before you. I don't know if that job you've been praying for, but I saw saw a job, a position just open up. Amen. And we just want to thank God for that position. Thank you. Amen. Lord. And it's not just any job, but it's a lucrative job. It's gonna change your situation. It's going to change your financial situation. Amen. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. My God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen, to God. Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. All right. I'm going to ask Minister Anne Marie, Evangelist Anne Marie, to take. Um, the prayer request, amen. We don't normally do this on the prayer cell, amen. Unless the Lord says it, amen. Woman of God, uh, Minister Otti, I want you to just put a, a, a paper, a cash up in the link. And anybody feel led, let me say this clearly anyone feel led in their spirit to sow in the woman of God life, do so. Amen. There's no coercion. Amen. There's no force. And we're not charging for this. Amen. We're not like that. This is an assignment of God. We do this because God wants us to do it. But I just feel led in my spirit that the woman of God just put some details. That's why I see I, I asked her to do her details. Amen. If you feel led to so in her ministry, in her life. Amen. Please, amen, do so. Glory to God. It's just come in my spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As she put her PayPal inside the chat, go over there and bless the woman of God and release her. Amen. With a blessing. Amen. We just want to thank God for everything that is happening right now in this realms. As I see open doors open open doors right now on this uh, uh platform uh cadet watson i see open doors over your life right now cadet watson i see open doors right now open doors amen glory to god hallelujah woman of god christopher tate said if you could put in a western union detail amen god bless you amen and minister and mary please pray for those who are sowing in the woman of god life as well as you pray bless the givers amen glory to god those who are on the other side the facebook the whatsapp amen we're gonna put some details over there if you feel led to sow as well i think those who are on the uh the YouTube may be able to see the link as well. Those who are on the Facebook, Amen, Amen. If you desire 
to sow in the woman of God life. Just leave a chat uh, and we will, amen, send you the details. Amen. Glory to God. What a night, what a move of God. Amen. Through his word, through his servant. And we just want to thank God for all the blessing. Amen. That he released tonight. Amen. Upon his people. Amen. Lady uh, KDN also asked for prior uh, evangelist Anne Marie James. Amen. She having warfare at her workplace. Amen. But we thank God. Amen. For what he's doing. Amen. Uh, Lady uh, uh, Watson, I'm not going to really say much, but what I heard, uh, uh, I don't know if you're on it, Lady Claudette Watson, I heard open doors over your life. Open doors. Amen. I don't know what that means to you, but I heard open doors. God bless you. Amen. All right. Uh, evangelist Thank you very much. Amen. I have God bless something you. that given me problems, so I needed to release. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All right. Those who desire for their prayer request to be prayed over. Amen. If you want to write it in the chat, open your mic. Do so. Evangelist Anne Marie James, I don't know if you're free. Amen. I'm still calling on you to pray over those prior requests. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Any one of our prayer requests, just open up your mic and, and let me know so we can pray. It's prayer requests time. We want to pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. All right. All right. It seems we just have one tonight. We just take the one. That's all right. Hallelujah. Good night. Amen. Good night. Um, so I was at work. I never was hearing what you were saying. My ear said to me, say, if I've surrendered, and that's all. You say, yes, the only the calling in the spirit why would you say that say again i already said god is calling my name but i already surrendered yeah but i was uh, there was a lot of things but i don't know if you did heard as well i didn't hear it that's why i'm telling you i was at work um yeah. me, me at little tokyo but i closed now so too, because someone was coming and me i served them yeah, I can't my boss no more on the earphone no more. Yeah, so I said I get my discharge. I never was hearing this. I was just asking if you could repeat, please. Yeah. All right. Um. While I was well, while I heard the Lord was calling your name, yeah. Um. Find the secret place. And there's some things that the Lord has said to me as well that he will brought me back into my life, becoming a Christian. Um, and the Lord brought me back to where I grew up and, and things I used to do before I become a Christian. And the Lord showed me that um, what I used to do was operate on the altar, yeah? So the Lord was saying to me that there's some communities are like that, that set up altars to, capture people destiny amen so i was saying i was one of the one that is fortunate to escape out of that altar because christ saved me and i was also talking about my testimony after i escaped the altar i wasn't sick or nothing before that but after i came out amen i i i, I felt sick it's like um things was coming back at me because i, I was free so I was praying for you that whatever trap that is set up to rob you, to steal you away, whatever scenario of the plans of the enemy, I was praying for it to be canceled. Because when I, I heard your name, there was this sad 
countenance has come over me. So I was just praying that there will be no peer pressure. There will be no uh, assignment of the enemy that set up against your life will prosper. Now, one of the things that the Lord says that you should find that secret place. As I'm a prayer and, altar. Yeah, your secret place. Amen. Yeah. So I, I mean, was, I really have prayer for you. <laughs> I was praying. I pray about me not really. I pray. I pray about me not pray like what me used to. And I was praying also that the Lord will cover you from bad influence, from peer pressure, amen, from bad counsel, and that He will hide you in wise counsel in that secret place as well. So basically that was was basically that was it. Amen. Is there somebody talking in the background? Yeah, somebody talking to me. My boss talking to me. Give me a second. All right. Just, just close your mic for us a minute, yeah? So, um, to we need to the prayer like, request. This is another time as well um, because they're a bit loud. All right, Minister Anne Marie James, are you still there? Yes, sir, um, I am. All right. Evening. Want to say something, lady? What? Can I see your mic open up? Good All evening. Right. Your prayer request in and let me pray, and then we we'll just yeah. close good this. Evening. Platform. I just want to say. Okay, please. good evening, um, Bailey. Yes, Pastor. Please, I'm asking for prayer for my cousin Rosemary Henry. She was working at this doctor's office for the past 12 years, and um, finally, my cousin get to realize that um, she deals with cult, and so because of that, her spirit and my cousin's spirit was doesn't mesh. So she terminated my, my cousin in December. And since then, um, Rosie cannot get a job. Each time she applies for a job, because you know when um, you're applying for a job, you have to put your previous job um, on it. And we assume that whenever they call, that lady give a negative report about my cousin, which is not, which is not true because my cousin is a child of God. The, her boss was a cult. So she's struggling to get a job now. She said she put out application and not even um, interviews she are getting anymore. So I don't, we don't know what kind of message um, her boss has spread around. My cousin just cannot get a job. So please, I'm asking for that spirit to break or that yoke or bondage to break so she could get a job. Thank you. Amen. Amen. We're going to say that the struggle is over. Amen. I'm, I'm just going to agree Amen. with uh, Evangelist James as she prayed. The struggle is over. We, we declare that in the atmosphere. Amen. 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 Somebody has put your prayer request in. Glory I, to God. I know the prayer requests are coming in, um, Pastor Tyrone, but, but I really need to pray for you, and I cannot turn the system off until I pray for you. All right, yes. <laughs> you want to pray now or you want to wait till after Evangelist James? Oh, I'd, I'd like to pray now because I have to. Oh, I've been waiting. Right. You don't mind, um, Minister Evangelist James. I right, go ahead, Dr. Rose. Let's take the no prayer. Man, pray, let's take it, pray, no. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask everybody to just bow your hearts with me as we pray for Pastor Tyrone Sin. And if you want to chime in in the prayer, please feel free so to do. 
Our Father, mm -hmm. we thank you. We praise you. Lord, you are an awesome God, and we, we just bow our hearts to you tonight. God, we lift so, up your servants. We lift up your son. We lift up your mouthpiece. We lift yes, up your Jesus. prophets. Yes, oh, God, Lord. we lift them up before you. We yes, ask Jesus. Almighty God that you will pour into him. Yes, Lord. Pour back into him, God, and fill yes, him up. Yes, God Almighty, God. because he would have given off. He would have spoken, my yes, God, in the God. lives of so many of us tonight. I pray, Almighty God, that you will cause the things that he desires, the good desires of his heart. Mm. You will bring it to fruition, God. And yes, he Lord will God. see that, A, he's not only speaking in the lives of your people, yes, but Jesus. you too, God, you are giving him evidence of the things he has asked you for. God, I pray that as he goes further into ministry yes, with his God. dear wife by his side, yes, that Jesus. God, you will cause divine destiny yes, helpers Jesus. to Jesus. locate them. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we cut down Lord. and we, we dig up and we mm -hmm. command mm -hmm. all those hypocritical tongues to cease now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Those that mighty tongue are uh, to be still, those deceptive tongue, oh God Almighty, to be still in the name of Jesus. But yes, they did not call you. They did not hire you. And so in the name of Jesus, dare them to fire you. Ah, oh, God, you tell us, Father. No, oh, God, in your word, you say, upon this rock, uh, you will build your church. And the gates of hell will never prevail against it. The rock is Jesus, even if you're out under a tree. The rock is Jesus, even if you're out in the street. The rock is Jesus. It's not necessarily a building that somebody is going to be Lord over and Bishop over and Archbishop. And ah, God, you said, upon this rock, you build a church and the gates of hell must not prevail against it. You yes, are that Lord rock, God. my God. You are that rock for your son. It yes, doesn't matter Jesus. where he goes. You will be that rock that he will build upon hallelujah yes, oh i worship you yes, lord god. god you will yes, give jesus. him an open check to walk with for the windows of heaven will be open up unto him oh god we come against every brass heaven and we speak god almighty that doors will be open doors yes, doors doors will be open yes, windows god. will be open my yes, god, god opportunities will be open all yes, those Hungarians that would not want to give up we speak to you art spit out what belongs to the name of jesus Jesus, 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 out of this and this evening we pronounce a mighty blessing abrahamic blessing may the lines continue to fall for you we and your family in pleasant yes, God. places my god may whatever you put your hands to prosper prosper yes, 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 
Those who bless you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my servant. God, cover her, God. Cover her. Cover her, God. Cover her. Cover her. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. Thank you for that prayer. We don't really want to, as she said, she can't come off and turn off the machine because God put it in our spirit to pray for me. Thank you for being obedient, uh, woman of God. Amen. As you've been praying for me, I heard in my spirit, court case. <laughs> Somebody have a court case on the platform tonight. I want to, I want evangelist uh, Amory James to help you pray for that prayer as well. Let me see the person with that court case. I know. Good night. On this That's all the court case. Who's that? Don it. I mean, my son is Giovanni Francis. Yes, yes, yes. Court case. We're gonna pray for that tonight. Hallelujah. I just heard it. Lord, court case. We're gonna pray for favor tonight. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, God. Rabasatayabasha. <laughs> All right. Somebody else bring up the, the prayer request. If you have a prayer request, we, we, we're not going to enjoy it out. Come on, if you have a prayer request. I don't care how much time you put it over. Amen. 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 We're going to pray with you tonight. Hallelujah. If not, we're just going to ask Evangelist James to take up that. Amen. Lady Kadian is asking prayer for a job. And Lady Donneth Francis for that court case. It just came up in my spirit court case amen all right we know god gonna do something tonight amen this morning there's gonna be favor i heard that there's gonna be favor <laughs> lord of mercy hallelujah yeah yeah basha listen people of god it's when god you see let the glory fall in the right place i'm gonna say this let the glory fall in the right place. Don't give it to no man. Hallelujah. And can I help? Amen. And before we leave this platform, let the glory fall in the right place. <laughs> All right. Lucifer gets to go to heaven because he wanted the glory. Let the glory fall in the right place. Come Amen. On now. I invite Anne Marie James. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Father. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We bless your name. We give you praise. We magnify your Father. Oh God Almighty, we lift you up. My God, we glory in you. We glorify you, God Almighty, your King. You are great. You are mighty. You are supreme. My God, you are a wonderful counselor. You are the mighty God. You have everlasting Father. Oh God Almighty, you are the Prince of peace mighty god i extol you i exalt you my god angel bob before you 
heaven and earth adore you even now in the name of jesus christ we cry holy holy is the lord god almighty mighty god i come in no other name but in your name mighty god at your name every knee have to bow and every tongue confess that you are god and you are god all by yourself yes. and so mighty god i come before you as a servant as your daughter as your handmaid as a and pick. Yes. I come before you even now. Mighty God, I pray for a washing and a purging and a cleansing. I decree and declare that nothing by any means will come before this prayer. This prayer that I've gonna pray. My God, I come against every blockage. My God Almighty, the first year Daniel prayed, the Prince of Persia. Hold on to Daniel Per, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against the Prince of Persia. I release the blood of Jesus in this atmosphere. I release the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in this region, in this region yes. I release the blood. I take authority over this region in the name of Jesus. I take a bosha, makutulu bosha. I take authority over this platform. I take authority over ever force ever plan ever scheme ever sickness ever disease my god i take authority in the name of jesus christ i bind the strong man oh lord abasha i bind the strong man in the name of jesus christ of nazareth over ever over everything that is not of god ah my god i bind and i can't do assignment you are yes, not of god. god i release the blood i release god's Aya. people Makoto. i release mm. god's people in the name of jesus into favor i release god people mm. into wealth i release mm. god people into deliverance i release yes, god, god people uh, into favor I Release God, people, in the name of Jesus Christ Please. of Nazareth. My God, in the name of Jesus, I decree that we will be above and not beneath. My oh, God, oh. I prophesy that we will be a lender, not a borrower. In Hallelujah. the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy that we are, oh God Almighty, are alive. My God Almighty, as we are walking on top of our grave, I decree pray and declare my god in the name of jesus that release oh god the power of god unto salvation over our life over our mind in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god mighty god i stand oh god in the intercessory gap to pray in the name of jesus christ of another as i and the to pray as an intercessor in the name of Jesus Christ of another mighty God. I God Almighty, I pray even now, oh God, for your people in the name of jesus christ of another mighty god i decree a release mighty god as katie and active for prayer oh god for her and her family my god i put them before you in the mighty name of jesus christ of another god i decree and declare i release in the name of jesus christ over her and her family my god almighty i pray oh god and bind them together mm -hmm. with cause that cannot be broken I come on unity and oneness and bond upon them even now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth mighty god the god of all flesh there is nothing too hard for you to do i pray mm -hmm. even now for kedana oh god for a job interview in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that you go before my god and if the way go before uh, and I pray that every crooked path will be straight in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy, my uh, God, when she go to the interview, I decree and declare favor. Oh, Rabbi, yes. in the very realm of the spirit, I prophesy favor. I decree favor. I come Ever, oh, in the name of Jesus 
cry up another mighty God. I decree and declare me in the name of Jesus Christ that nothing by any means will block this interview. Oh, mighty oh. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, up another way. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus when you show up, my God, every question that they ask, my yes. God Almighty, I pray that she will answer, oh God Almighty, with favor, my God Almighty, answer politely in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare your blood coverage in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh, my God Almighty, I pray for Sister Jane John Bailey. Oh God is asking for, for his cousin Rosemary Henry. My God, brother, that job. Lord God Almighty, visit that job. Visit that job. Visit Adabashi. Every blockage, every demon, mm. and every devil. My God Almighty, every thing that the enemy set up, every other God will crumble you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that a release upon her in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I put a stop on and that. Bath, Labo, Shikoto, that oh God, that she want another job. A release will come up on every blockage. We kill down every blockage. We blood black every blockage in the name of Jesus Christ. We come on clearance. We decree clearance in the realm of the spirit. I come on clearance, God. I lift up, oh Labusha, everything, everything that stop my God her from getting this job. I come on a stop. Hey God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pierce the way with the power of the Holy Ghost. I pierce the way with the blood of Jesus. I pierce the way in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, I come against every curse. I curse with a curse. Every curse. Every curse. Every plague that I put upon this woman. I release the blood over this woman. I release. I release Mandabosha. I command that door that has been closed. I command it to be open now. I decree no, no intentions. No, in the name of I command a breakthrough. No, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, I thank you for your deliverance over this woman. I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. Ah, yeah. My God, I pray for prophetess Chin. My God, oh God Almighty, I just ask a prayer, oh God, of us for Andrews in the hospital. My God, visit that hospital, God, visit that hospital, visit that bed. My God, stretch your hand over her, up on her, touch her. My God, in the name of I pray that you let down your hand in that belly ear, oh God. Oh, Labusha, Dabo, Kata, ever disturbance in that belly, ever disturbance, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for healing and deliverance, my God, Almighty, shift what to be shift, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come on and turn around, shift in the very own era, shift, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of ever termite ever rock uh, everything mm. that's caught uh, in that era, we render you none and by we come out to dry up from the very root in the name of Jesus Christ. We release healing and deliverance and breakthrough over their belly, over that era in the name of Jesus Christ of another mighty God. Ah, let your blood prevail. We thank you for healing and deliverance in the name. Jesus Christ of another mighty God, I pray. Oh God, for Sister Francis, we ask in the prayer. Oh God, for a church, Sister, my God, my God, who has done a surgery on her foot. Yeah, God Almighty, and end back in the hospital, my God, because her foot is getting black. My God Almighty, God, are you making foot? My God, Paula, Lord God. Paula Nelson. My God, when you make Paula Nelson foot, it was normal and perfect. And so, even though every circulation problem, my God, every 
problem in that foot. Yo, God, you make your creator. My God Almighty, when the creator of the foot never black. And so even now, I pray that my God has strengthened the near God and in that hospital my god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray for your healing and deliverance over her body even now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let your healing power flow flow god upon her flow upon her from her head to the crown of her head to the soul oh. of her my God, I pray you go in the bloodstream. Ah, uh, God Almighty, I pray that the leak out that blood and put your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. You counteract that blood with your blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Of another mighty God, I pray, oh God, that for a release upon her even now and a healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Of another mighty God, I look to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Of another Spirit of the living God, I pray for Antoinette. Oh God Almighty, I can pray for her grandchildren. My God and her partner. My God, I place them before you. You know wherever they are. You know where they live. My God, you know they the, the want to pray for but even now. You are the one that answer prayer. I pray you answer by fire. My God, I come on a speedy answer, oh God, on our behalf, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God of Daniel, ah, oh God Almighty, I pray even now that you stretch your hands and touch and move and shift, oh God Almighty, upon that family member, in the name of Jesus, those grandchildren and a partner, you know all about them, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, I pray for Minister Kid, in the name of Jesus, I put her before you, in the name of Jesus, you know all about her, my God, I command the shift. In, oh God, in the atmosphere over our environment, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, I pray even now for oh God Almighty, Kamisha Reed, my God Almighty, you ask my prayer for our family, my God, I put them before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Of another, let your blood prevail, my God, meet their need in the name of Jesus Christ. Of another, mighty God, I pray for Sister Wallace, oh God, is going down and the job interview my god go before uh, uh come on every cookie part to be straight in the mighty name of jesus christ of another let your healing power flow in the name of jesus christ of another mighty god i put him sister simit before you out of a prayer my god for job oh god almighty will have attack on that job i come against every demon and every devil that come to attack Acker, my God, and a job, a can't your assignment over earth. I can't everything that is not of you oh god concern her and that job in the mighty name of tree i break your back i break your powers i break your assignment in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let your blood prevail oh god almighty in the name of jesus christ of nazareth mighty god let your perfect and the divine will be done concern her even now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth Mighty God, Alilobo Sheda Bando Boko Tulaba Mande Kete Kunama Shiobo Kunima Nama Nimoko Lanimo Shana Bande Kotulubusha Evera Kandubu Shanda Naba Konto in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth upon her body in the name of Jesus Christ that caused her to feel nervous. My God and the job ever attack my God in the name of Jesus a cause of the fear we bind fear in the name of Jesus Christ we love a kundubusha that cause ibo shandobo kundubo in the name of Jesus Christ let your blood prevail I command coverage comprehensively upon her on her job in the name of Jesus Christ of another mighty God ah my abortion and I'm a kundubusha my God I pray for sister Brooks oh God cousin my God Brian Welch ah 
put him before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know all about him. My God Almighty, I put him before you. Come against every frustration upon him even now. My God, I rebuke the spirit of frustration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cancel frustration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, let your work perfect will be done concerning him even now. Hallelujah. My God, I pray, oh God Almighty, oh God for Sister Reed, oh God Almighty, oh God who's asking approval for a document in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God. Uh, come on, approval upon that document. My God, let them take your nearest card and then touch that document. That God, when they see that document, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will be approved. I uh, put a stamp with the blood of approval on that document. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, I thank you, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Spirit of the living God, in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, how are you both shot? My God Almighty, I pray over for the couples who are doing ministry together. My God, the couples that are doing ministry together. My God, I put them before the husband and the wife. My God, I put them before those who are doing ministry together. My God, the enemy no love that. The enemy want to launch an attack upon the leaders that are doing ministry together. But we can't flee your attack. We can't have a monitoring spirit over them. We bind with this charge. Oh my God of God's people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of another mighty God. Ah, God Almighty, I pray, oh God Almighty, for my God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh God, for mentor, oh God, prayer for the document for a mom to get. Oh God, a job. I pray, God, for relief. The job, the jobs, God. I put the job before relief and the jobs in the mighty name of Jesus. We come on, release and those jobs in the name of Jesus Christ of another I pray for John Bailey son Andre oh God who is studying my God for a test my God Almighty I put him before you for a certificate oh God Almighty for a job every job issue every job issue my God Almighty we come and a release for all those jobs even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth my God I pray oh God oh God for a blessing oh God Almighty I pray my God for prayer over my God of our finances even now in the name of Jesus Christ after the ability to multiply in the name and wisdom to preserve and well God I put them before in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father we thank you we give you praise we honor you even now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for a shame my God with a court case. My God, you are the judge of all judge. And so even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, oh God, for release in that court. Be the judge of all judge. Our God, let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Oh God, even this young lady, oh God, for that seed is gonna pick up for this seed. I put on a blessing. I come on a blessing over that seed for her even now in the mighty name of Jesus my God I pray Oh God, for a blessing. I command those who are gonna give. I declare, declare a blessing over them in the name of Jesus Christ. I command a blessing. I command success. I command open door for every person, my God, who's gonna give in their life. In the name of I command multiplication as my God and might to receive those finances. I command multiplication over the person and even for her, even now. Father, we thank you for every person that are on this platform. We thank you for oh. Oh, God, I'm for Apostle Chinon's wife. I thank you for every minister. I thank you for each and every one 
<laughs> that make it possible to be here tonight. Lord God, release your blood. Release my God. Oh God, open door for your people. In the name of the Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for what you have done and what you have done already. Oh God, I declare and declare your blood coverage over us. I've got a command coverage in the name of you. Let your perfect will be done. I pray that you cover me, cover my family, cover my household in the mighty name of you. We come against every backlash, whiplash. My God, every attack of the enemy of assignment over my life, over my home. Ah, God, over my destiny, I bind you. My God Almighty, I release your blood over my destiny. My God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, my God, let your perfect will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for answering prayer. We thank you for coming through. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for breakthrough. My God, in the name of my God, remember, start Steve, I put her before you. My God, I Poor Gobo, I prophesy a blessing and an open door and favor upon her even now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and our children. Father, <coughs> we thank you, God. And we give you all the praise and the honor. Let your perfect and the divine will be done even now. And we tell us thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Glory to God. Um, I'm, my wife is going to just wrap up because she has some things to say. Amen. But please remember tomorrow is the prior bell with Dr. Rose. Amen. A wonderful um, prayer session with the woman of God. Amen. I look forward to it every Saturday. The early morning rises start um, 4 a.m. Um, and the prior bells start at 5. Amen. That will be about 10 a.m. our time over here in the UK. Amen. All right. Thank everyone that come on. Amen. It's, it's a blessing every Friday. Amen. For you to come and share this virtual space. Um, uh, with us we thank the preacher tonight wow what the word this woman was just going 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 she's filled up with the word remember yeah. <laughs> if you feel led to bless her bless her her paypal is inside the chat amen i i don't i know i'm minister mel and brother christopher tate was asking for your western union details Amen. So contact um and brother Christopher as he want to bless you. Amen. So now I just thank everyone that prayed. Thank you for lifting up those requests. Amen. Evangelist Anne Marie James. Amen. I felt great too. Amen. I think she put her her PayPal in uh in in the chat. Amen. Um, we just put it back down there. Amen. As my wife wrapping up. Amen. All right. Prophetess Neja Chin. Glory to God. The floor is yours. Amen. Thanks again, everyone. Big thank you for coming on. Please come back next week. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Um, it's just one thing that I sense in my spirit. Um, I did just ask my husband to just do it, but he just want me to do it. <laughs> Bless the Lord. And um, it's Lady Anna K. I'm not sure if you're um, still on, Lady Anna K. I know um, it's kind of late here in the UK, 
but if you're not on, I will just speak with you um, is another it Anna time. K, is it Anna K. Thompson? Anna K. Thompson, yes. Still on, but her mic is closed. You could call her again. Maybe. Lady Anna K. Thompson? I think she's, she probably can't, um, she's there. I think she's here in the UK, so probably she probably slept off or something. <laughs> but I will just deliver the message. I will deliver the message another time. So um, I just want to bless you all. Um, it's a privilege to be here on the platform. You know, um, it's it's powerful word tonight, and I'm just I'm just I just back in the presence of the Lord, and you know we we'll come back next week Friday night for prayer worship and seeking the face of the Lord. Uh, my wife, before you close, um, Lady Joan Bailey is asking for Minister um, Ati Ati. PayPal. Could she just put it back in if you're if you're a woman of God? I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it. No, Pastor, I'm saying I do not have PayPal. Is there another way? Oh, that's that. what you were saying. I don't, I don't have PayPal. Oh, okay. I get you. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I think Minister T is sleeping, but um, which one of the group chat there in um, Lady Bailey? I could just give you the details for her when I get it from her. Um, when she, she um, I'm on, I'm in the faith walk, all right. Okay, all right, I'll find you. And I, I try to get like, probably, um, I did screenshot it and put it in the prior cell group, she don't so have, you can she take don't it from have, there. She do not have PayPal. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm gonna ask her for Western Union, and 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 see um if we can get it to her right there. Thank um, you so much. Okay. All right. All right. If if you that's can close it. off, babe. Close off. Yes. All right. We're closing now. Um, I just thank everyone for coming on. Amen. Next week, if you desire to join the WhatsApp group, I'm going to put a link inside there. Amen. Because I know we have far spent time already. Um, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May the Lord keep you, uh, make his light shine upon you and give you peace. Amen. As you go, have a glorious weekend. Amen. Yes. A great time in your time of worship um, when you gather in your local ministry. Be strong in the Lord, the power of his might. Amen. And do all that you can for the ministry. While the ministry do all for you. Amen. Lady Sharon, over it, I see your blessing to you, woman of God. Amen. Just unmute, say some goodbyes if you feel led. Amen. And God bless you. Thanks for coming. Those God who God bless you all. The first time. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. It's bless you, time. Lady Kamisha Reed. Amen. It's a blessing. Definitely Amen. It's a blessing. Time. Thank you. Greetings, brother. Greetings. Greetings. Brother. Bless yeah. you, brother Christopher Tate. Amen. Yeah. Blessings yeah. to you. you Blessings brother. to you. Blessing everyone. Amen. And we just want to say a special blessing to a speaker. Amen. Yeah. I know it's a bit late in her time. Blessing Lady Antonetti. I hope I pronounce your name correctly. Lady Joan Bailey. Uh, Lady Lona Angels. Bless you, Lady Tashima Blacks. Blessing everyone. We're going to close this platform. Lady Marsha, Lady Cordonia. Bless Kedone, blessings, Lady Donette Francis, Lady Lisa Sanders. We praying for every one of you. Amen. Continually. Um, Lady Stevens, uh, 
blessings to you, Lady Cadian Summit, Lady. Oh, my. And all right, everyone, we're closing down. Amen. All right, we're going to close at the countdown of five. Amen. Those who are on the YouTube, we're going to close over that side. Bless you over there on the Facebook. Bless you. Amen. As we close down. Amen. Amen. We're going to close down with a count of 